and welcome back to another ninja vlog. Today is an epic day like I told you in the last video. I know, I'm sorry, it was a little sad. My grandma, uh, she's doing much better now, she's home. But you guys, today, we're getting our headlights done. Creative Auto Design. We're gonna go hang out with Nick for a quick second. He's gonna talk us through what's available, what are some options, uh, what it's gonna cost to do these custom, and what it's gonna cost to do these JDM, OEM, and just replace just whatever's you know on the Evo itself. So you guys, let's head over there and a little uh, movie montage. Let's go. We jumped to Creative Auto Design. I am here with Mr. Nick, uh, my buddy Ty's brother. So, Nick, say what's up, man. What's up? How's it going? So, we're here to do a bunch of this stuff over here. We got a bunch of headlights. It looks like a projector over there in the corner. Like, what are we doing, man? So, I needed to get some headlights. What are we What are we doing with this? Normally, it costs like, what, 1800 or something like that to get JDM OEM style? Yeah, some brand new JDM uh, black housing. They're gonna be right-hand drive, though. So these will be a left-hand drive, uh, G5 BRT, uh, HID conversion kit, and then we're gonna clean the lenses up. Just, just make them new, freshen them up, paint the bezels black and stuff like that. Pretty much upgraded version of what you could buy brand new, but just better. Sick, man. And uh, something like this, if somebody wanted to do this exact setup or something similar to this, what would something like this cost a person? Uh, so start out about 12, 1300 bucks to do exactly what we're gonna do. And then the fancier you wanna get just goes up from there. You guys, this is gonna be, I don't know, what would you say, about a week process to get everything going? And about a week, yeah. Cool, man, and he's doing an entire custom build on these lights. I mean, we're talking like from OEM, I've had this car beating the crap out of it for six years straight. I can't see but 10 feet in front of me and we're about to have something crazy built. So I showed you guys a little clip before we got here of what the look, the lights looked like. They need a refresh, they need a new life. And uh, I'm very fortunate that Nick was able to uh, get me in and get these going, especially during all these times. So Nick, thank you, man. I yep. appreciate it, bud. And uh, I guess what, we'll see you in a week? Yep. All right, guys, so like movie magic, we're gonna jump cut right now. Talk back to Nick. Hopefully these things are already installed. All right, guys, we'll see you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, so we're here. We're back at Creative Auto Design, and uh, the Evo's done. I'm here with Nick. Nick, say what's up, man. And uh, we're gonna check these out. Uh, of course, you know, with anything like an Evo uh, 2006, they're used, they're abused. That's why I got lucky getting the one that I got. Um, but, you know, with wear and tear, and I obviously drive my cars, I don't sit here and, you know, baby this car. It's my daily, so I do use it. So, granted, there's gonna be some things that aren't gonna be perfect that Nick wasn't able to do. And I'll let him explain that because if I try to explain it, I'm gonna butcher the shit out of it. But uh, I'm gonna let him do that. But let's check out the Evo and kind of reveal what's going on. So, uh, Nick, talk us through what's going on, man. So, everything came out really good. Got the uh, custom bracket to mount the projector on. That went pretty smooth. Took me a while to make one, but okay. after I got it dialed in and perfect, everything fit up really good. The lens is just 14, 15 years old. That's all. Yeah. It has 15 years of sun abuse and and sanding and this and that and it's got some uh so normal wear and tear then. yeah nothing yeah. out of the okay cool. yeah just normal cool. like stress cracks and stuff which is just the the plastic is degraded essentially the sun just had its way with it that's all is there anything that i could have done more to help preserve it could have clear bottom when they were when <laughs> first got the car but that's it i mean that's, sure. that's all anybody can do and that's why i personally push the clear drawing of headlights right away because right especially nowadays i mean even with your case like yeah. headlights are two grand brand new yes. there's no way around that but no, a lot of no. new cars it's two grand a piece or the for, supras or the skylines or exactly, anything jdm yeah. that everybody's trying to get their hands on and like i said i got lucky getting this car when i got it so i didn't have to pay you know the premium that people are paying now for this car oh, it's and insane i mean we were I, looking them up the other day it's it's bonkers, man. 30 grand for one that's still at 100K and, it's, right, and right. it looks nice, yeah. but you're like, it's stock. It's right. what if it isn't? You know, you're like, well, what is done to it? Is the right. is the block okay? Or, you know, yeah, am I going to yeah. throw a rod? Or, yeah. well, let's go check these out, man. And then you can talk through what's going on. Whoa. Yeah, that's a big difference. It's not, it's not anything from what I've ever seen it. Wow. And they actually look 
Oh, cool. You even got the black in there, too. So, actually, they're black for the factory. Oh, really? Yeah, so oh. it's like we just couldn't see it because it was so, so bad. cloudy. Oh, my gosh. When I got the lens apart, I was like, I don't really need to do this. <laughs> it's kind of pointless. So. Yeah. I guess I never realized that they were already that dark. They're like a super, super dark gun metal. Oh wow, I can't even really see it during the daytime. I bet you at night I'll be able to see it, but... Dude, at night shot, it'll be, it'll be bonkers. I see that, I see that etching like you're talking about. Yeah, and man. uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, man. All right, guys, so we're gonna finish up here at Creative Auto Design. I'm gonna hand the video over to Nick really quick. If you guys would like to get any of the services that I got on my headlights, or if you guys have something else that you guys wanna do, he has a whole buttload of stuff that they can do for you guys. So I'm gonna let him shout himself out and kind of tell you guys just quickly about that and how you guys get a hold of him. So, Nick, take it over, dude. So it's just Creative Auto in Pueblo, uh, 4929 North Elizabeth Street. You can call us at 719-542-0500. Uh, email us service period creative auto at gmail.com Facebook Instagram you name it uh, that's it right on, man. well cool well thank you again so much yep. I appreciate the business man you yep. definitely have my business we'll definitely be coming back here for some more mods uh, maybe even the girlfriend's forerunner and get that thing blocked out because I know she would love that and I know she doesn't really watch the videos so she's not gonna know any of this there you go. So, right on man cool, cool dude we'll going? see you guys next week peace Big vibes. Look, I'm about my plans. So I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit looks like fall leaves in a bag fill. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that rule. Quick to say my piece, I'm so after school special. She brainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. This talk a whole lot, no one damn wet. It really can't press us. I notated on leaflet. I'm really up a few levels with it. Like way, way up the way from a can't see me. You can't battle with us. E and J in my Earl Grey hood, brunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face. No stunning shades.